Now, here's meteorologist TJ Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, all the ingredients continue to come together for a significant storm here in southern New England. While it's not going to be what we call crippling for us, we are going to be seeing, you know, Thursday kind of slow down a little bit by the various forms of precipitation. Live city camp picture, we've got sunshine, and you can almost count the little puffy clouds there. Looks like we have one, two, maybe three clouds in the sky, but still lots of sunshine. Temperature at 23 in Coventry, 23 in Providence, 22 in Newport. It remains very cold. The average high for this date is 40, well below that for the uh, afternoon hours today. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. We're not finding any snowflakes out there right now. Temperature in Cumberland, 24 with a uh, wind. Light about three miles an hour. Once in a while, the winds do pick up and the wind chill factors are dipping down into the teens. Down Newport Harbor, nice day, lots of sunshine here. 22 degrees in the city by the sea. Satellite radar picture showing really not a whole bunch going on across the northeast. Just some cold air clouds, a couple of flurries out in the Cape, and that's about it. Here's what we're looking at. High pressure still controls our weather. It's going to keep us cold and dry both for today and the daytime on Wednesday. But that area of high pressure is going to pass right to the north of New England and off to the north and east. And that's not where you really want to see an area of high pressure if you're looking for a lot of snow. You'd like to have it just off to our north and southern Canada. Instead, it's over in southeastern Canada. So we're losing a supply of some cold air. It's still going to be plenty of cold, plenty cold enough for us to get a good amount of snow here in southern New England. The area of low pressure, I think, is going to be passing just to the south and east of Nantucket, far enough away that there'll be enough cold air around especially in the northwestern suburbs that we'll see uh, some uh, significant snow. Let's take a look at what I'm expecting in terms of precipitation type. I think it's going to start around dawn on Thursday and continue really through much of the night. Snow to a mix to a rain and probably back to snow even in the Providence area during the evening hours. Maybe a mix of snow and sleet in the northwestern suburbs, but a lot of snow up here and then mainly snow to the north and west of there. All right, here's some preliminary guesses as to what I'm expecting. Uh, looking at 6 to 12 inches north and west of Route 295 in Providence, 3 to 6 inches in Providence where there'll be a lot of rain. And a lot of this may actually be realized at the end of the storm. A little bit of snow to rain and then ending as some snow. And this is just kind of a general broad brush idea of what we're expecting with this particular storm. It could easily see this blue area go down on off to the south and east. So there's a lot to talk about, a lot to consider over the coming days. At the bus stops today, temperatures only around 25, cold and dry for the kids as they get home from school. 26 degrees on the east side, 26 degrees in Pawtucket as we pinpoint things for you. Over into Cranston and Warwick, mid-20s, East Bay mid-20s, including Barrington, Warren and Bristol. Along the south shore, upper 20s, will so still be quite cold. Quite cold up in northern Rhode Island, temperatures around 23 in Boroughville. Over in Fall River and New Bedford, I think we're looking at temperatures today at around 27 degrees or so. So we're dry for the next couple of days, and then on Thursday we are looking at that storm to be working its way in, beginning between 5 and 8 a.m. as snow turning over to a mix through the morning hours and then ending as some snow throughout the uh, latter part of the day on Thursday drying out for Friday. The weekend looks dry. Might be a few flurries from time to time. Temperatures will be in the 30s. So we're watching that storm closely. So much to talk about. Probably the hardest storm to forecast so far this year. Wow. All right. Thank you, TJ. Now a look at